Uh, hello everyone, my name is Sachit Paliwal. I am pursuing integrated MTech from IIPS DVV University Indore. So in this video, we are going to learn the relationship between IoT, Big Data, Cloud Computing and AI. We know that uh, IoT, Big Data, Cloud Computing and AI are the separate technology, but somehow they are interrelated to each other. So we are just going to learn how they are interrelated to each other and how we can use all this technology together for the better future and better future of the world's tech economy and world's tech, uh, technology. Now, uh, what is IoT? The Internet of Things is a system of interrelated computer devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, animal or people that are provided with a unique identifier. Or else in simple words, we can say that the IoT is nothing but just a tool the electronics devices are communicating with each other by exchanging the data and performing some tasks. The main part is without the human interaction. So now IoT and big data, how they are related to each other. Now IoT already, I already discussed that IoT is a network of smart devices which are collect and exchange the data between them. Now as per the estimation and survey, the number of connected devices will be 30.7 billion devices in 2020 and 75.4 billions in 2025. So it will create a trillions of data every year. How will you handle this, such a huge data? Here comes the picture of big data. Using the big data te techniques, we can store this data in a meaningful way so that we can use and utilize this data uh, for the future events. Now, this is the whole structure how IoT and big data works. Now, these are the IoT devices which are connected to the many uh, aspects like uh, car, car, home, offices, security devices, mobile devices, laptop, computer devices, security devices, and battery. So which generates a new data, which the data is uh, huge and complex in nature. So using the two parameters, uh, variety and velocity, we can sort this data and store in a, as a meaningful way in a, uh, in local hard drive or in the cloud storage. Further, we can use this data to uh, run a query using the analyzing tool and use this data for experimental purpose in for the predicting the future events. Now. Big data and cloud computing. We know that the big data is a term of data sets that are so large or complex. So using the big data, we can manage those data, uh, which we got from the IoT devices and other sources. But how will you cope with the scaling rapidly increasing the volume centralization and infrastructure? It involves huge cost and huge security risk. The answer, the solution is the uh, cloud computing. Using the cloud computer uh, computing, we can reduce the cost and the security threats. Now, cloud computing, uh, gives the centralized platform to access the data from anywhere in the world with a shared infrastructure. Thus, you can save a lot of money. Now, everything works seamlessly, but how will you do with this, those trillions of data? It, it, currently, the world is running on the data. If you have the proper data, you can use this data and utilize this data to perform the future events and uh, uh, increasing our profit and the, uh, reducing the defects. Now, Here's comes the picture of AI. You, using this AI, we can use this data to predict the future events from our past. Now, this is the whole structure how IoT, big data, and cloud computing work. Now, this is the IoT devices which are uh, generating, exchanging the data. This is the big data techniques we are using to store the data. The whole output are after that the store in the cloud storage. So, this is the whole structure. Now, AI. Artificial intelligence can be used those data and learn from those data. It will predict or take decision from those trillions of data. So we can get a usual information and predict our future from our past. There are lots of AI offer. So the real power comes when we use all the technology together for the better future. Now, these are the some advantages if we are uh, enabled IoT by AI. So decreasing the cost of CPU and memory, convergence of IT and operation technology, advent of big data and cloud, uh, decreasing of cost of megabyte per second, increase in VC spend and investment, and, and lots of many more. Now, bottom line, to conclude the convergence of the Internet of Things, Big Data, Cloud Computing, leverage a new horizon of decision support system. Moreover, the convergence of IoT, Big Data, and Cloud Computing can provide new opportunities and application in all the sector. This will also give an excellent career scope for professionals who are working on the individual technology currently. Basically, in simple but all the technology, if we go, all the technology are dependent on each other. If the first, uh, like a pipeline structure. So that's it from my end. If you have any kind of question, confusion, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video.